when they are bubbling with joy and they are having enamored smiles. But as long as their parents are around to take care of their running noses, their dirty diapers, and their never ending tantrums. Mr. Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, distinguished guests, former children, parents, and future parents, good evening. Good evening. We all love, love children up to a certain age. The day they start to talk, walk, or know how to control their tear ducts to make demands is then when we realize that it is the Loki himself, the god of mischief, that has taken the form. These children will take over and bring down the house if you are an unsuspecting guardian. With just their tears and cries, they can debate, disagree, and even defeat you. It is the power of their crying that separates an agreeable child with the difficult ones. I used to be a difficult child. I don't know how my parents survived my childhood because when I was growing up, I'd be just clinging onto my parents or would be clutching onto their shoulders and laps. As long as I was on their shoulders or on the lap, I'd be happy, bubbly, occasionally breaking into peals of laughter. One fine day, an unsuspecting aunt plucked me out of my mother's lap. I was happy and in chatty mood when suddenly I was silent. I was staring at the face of the stranger with uh, ever-reducing joy and growing suspicion and anger. And my face was contorted with fear. It was drooping with sorrow. And then the dance burst open. And I went, Wah! <laughs> I was inconsolable. <laughs> and nothing could placate me for the next one hour. Talking of crying children, my father narrates his favorite anecdote. When he took me to the hospital for an inoculation shot. As soon as the syringe needle pierced my bum, I grimaced and squeezed. <laughs> my bum, not the syringe. <laughs> Till I had a bent needle poking out of my behind and all hell broke loose. There was a furor all around while I was trying to bring down the ceiling and the doctors and nurses were trying to remove that needle as delicately as possible. But the best part is yet to come. Outside the ward, there were 20 other infants and children who had gathered. Hearing my shrieks, they started to cry together. <laughs> Some were crying in unison, others in tandem. Imagine 20 yard wailing faces who are trying to compete against each other. <laughs> Well, if you thought that crying is when the children are troubled ones and when they grow and then they can express themselves, all things would be okay, well, we have a disaster waiting in your hands. My mother narrates this, that when I started to talk, and it was about a year later, that one day I announced, Ma, Ma, Saya. Which means, Mother, a buffalo has arrived. <laughs> now if you are a person who maintains a garden right in front of your house and somebody announces <laughs> that a herbivorous animal like a cow or a goat has strayed in, what would you do? It's the obvious thing. You will ask him to shoo it away. So my mother said, well, shoo it away. Well, well, I did not know what showing away was I announced again. Ah, <laughs> 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 